I'm Coach Jared Trin here at O-Hoops. We're in the lab this evening to bring you back to hoop skills training. Let's get started. I'm here with Coach Nick Trapp this evening, lead skills trainer here at O-Hoops. We're going to work on some stationary ball handling. Our stationary ball handling has several standards that are a must when practicing. It is beneficial to use a straight line during stationary ball handling. This forces you to stay squared up to the basket, which allows you to see everyone on the court at all times. Another standard is the game ready position. Butt down, chest up is an athletic stance that is vital to establishing an edge on your defender. Leg circles help develop hand strength, confidence, and ball control, all while emphasizing that game ready position of having your butt down and chest up. Staying in an athletic stance, butt down, chest up, dribble the ball on the side of your body rather than in front. This will protect the ball from any defender as well as prepare you to make the necessary move for your attack. In every drill, whatever you do with your right hand, you gotta do with your left. Here we are simulating game pressure. By controlling the ball on our side, we can react quickly to the defender attempting to guard up close. This is important to maintain your dribble while handling strong defensive pressure. This crossover drill is designed to establish ball control. Being able to cross over at different depths and speeds makes you more versatile. This gives you the ability to react to any situation you encounter. Here's our fundamental move between the legs. We start stationary and increase difficulty by shuffling our feet. Mastering fundamentals is the key to improvement. Developing the basic allows for advancement of your skills and ultimately your game. Once you're comfortable with handling the ball to the side of your body and maintaining a low squared stance, you can begin to pick up the speed and intensity of each crossover. The more dribbles you take between each crossover, the easier it is to find and keep a rhythm. Here we started with two dribbles between each move. We recommend starting with 10 dribbles before each cross. Begin working your way down to no dribbles once you have the confidence in your fundamentals and ball control. You'll notice that he's always square to the basket with his feet and his shoulders. This allows him to see everybody on the court as well as any opportunity he has to attack. Connect with O Hoops for more tips on how to prepare for this upcoming season. Back to Hoops.